Integrate sine of square root of x dx. Hmm, which trick shall we use? No, there's no trick. Only substitution. That's enough. Okay, so the first step is just to substitute, and we substitute square root of x. Let it be equal to t. Then what is x? x is t squared. What is dx? dx is dt squared, and dt squared is the derivative. The derivative of t squared is 2t, so it's 2t times dt. So our original integral can be written as the integral of sine of square root of x becomes sine of t dx is 2t dt. So it's very good. So it's 2 times the integral of t times sine of t dt. How should I solve for this integral? By using integration by parts. Sine t dt is actually negative d cosine of t. Very good. So then, it is 2 times the integral of t d cosine of t, and this minus, I will give it to this 2. Very good. So it's negative 2 times the integral of t d cosine of t. And now, integration by parts. So it's negative 2 times t cosine t minus the integral of cosine of t dt. And the integral of cosine of t dt is very easy. It is just sine of t. So it is negative 2 times t cosine t minus sine of t. And plus c. However, that's not the answer. Because our original variable is x, so we have to substitute it back. t is square root of x, then the answer will be negative 2 times square root of x cosine of square root of x minus sine of square root of x, then plus c. So that's the answer. Did you get it? Did you get the method? Substitution and integration by parts. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.